What is going on guys and welcome back to another video. So the moment we were all waiting for of course being today being the first war table stream well technically was a video but it revealed a lot not only regarding Kate Bishop but it revealed two new villains and also on top of that we have our first I guess you could say teaser look at Black Panther. Now this is of course something that we were all looking forward to and it's safe to say I guess a lot of people's vision for this game has changed so leave your thoughts on this if you've already seen it in the comments below but we got tons of stuff to cover in this video now as always don't forget I am doing a giveaway with instant gaming where you can win a game of your choice just go ahead and visit that link in the description below on top of that if you want to be in for the chance to win $100 I'm gonna be giving it away to two people it's regarding the second channel so just visit that link as well in the description below to get involved but most importantly if you are new to the channel go ahead and click that big red subscribe button below because content that is what we have brand new content and we got loads to cover so let's dive into this video first of all with the footage you can see in the background of course we got another teaser for Hawkeye as well it's safe to say that Hawkeye's story definitely looks a lot more interesting but you guys know that I did say with Kate Bishop's DLC I wasn't genuinely too bothered by it but after I did see this gameplay in the trailer I mean it's safe to say especially when it comes down to the teleportation and all of that kind of stuff that this character is actually going to be very very interesting now there is a bunch of information regarding Kate kind of like a little brief highlights and so forth so that video is in the description below if you want to watch the official one but first of all when it comes down to I guess Clint's story that's really where it goes down now an interesting fact with of course these two characters being archers right this is where a lot of people are now saying well how are they going to to make these players feel different or characters feel different should I say now with Kate of course when it comes down to the sword when it comes down to the bow and arrow all of that stuff is really interesting but I mean the key thing so far at least what it's kind of given off from the trailer is that teleportation is really going to be the big thing there now Marvel's Avengers the official Twitter account did also respond to a few questions and somebody did ask in a nutshell again regarding the teleportation and basically movement and combat on how quick it's going to be now they said she's super fun to play and highly mobile and playing Kate skillfully is a battlefield dance of blinking around your enemies you'll never be in one place for long now on top of that with this as well it will also be played while well, the operations in general can be played in co-op so again we got a lot of stuff to be really really engaged for now one thing I do want to point out is of course the first look at the super adaptoid this is where of course it has a lot of people excited this is something that really got me hyped up now if you remember a while back we did get a screenshot for this or I guess it was like a concept art more so as opposed to a screenshot but having our first look on a super adaptoid is definitely right up there and again it seems like this is going to be very cool again from what we see in the trailer as well this is just great I mean everything from the replica of Captain America's shield is all of course force hammer and so forth there's so many things going on with this so this is cool alone right but the next thing is these little teasers and this is where it goes on so first of all the teaser of course being a second villain which is one that I guess a lot of people didn't expect whatsoever and of course it is Maestro now this is a villain a super villain I guess we can call him that has a lot of people of course really really eager to play well not play but more or less go against and it's refreshing to know that we're getting these two you know villains now one thing I do want to mention is in the trailer right when they did show of course the opening of Maestro we did see something on the floor and this is where it goes down to the Black Panther teaser now a lot of people were saying well is there a war machine teaser in this as well and so forth but you can see the screen and what you can see is of course a Black Panther's helmet now on top of that what's interesting is taking a look at Captain America's shield it seems to have a lot of scratches on there as well so again this is kind of leading into multiple different things and reasons and theories as to which direction we could be going for this but another thing is is War Machine actually teased here as well with a helmet well 
Technically, no, but we do know that he's in the game files. But again, I really feel like this DLC, and especially Hawkeye's DLC, is what is initially going to, I guess, have loads and loads of teasers for Black Panther. Now, what we do know is that, of course, Kate Bishop's DLC is going to be playable on the 8th of December. The big question is, we were meant to be getting cloning labs before Kate Bishop's DLC. So now the theory is, going on the basis that 8th of December, I mean, give or take would be after next week more or less to an extent right but you know what i mean it's not far away at all so could we possibly be getting the cloning labs next week and then we have a week of just experience in that and then the kate bishop dlc that would make sense they haven't mentioned anything on that but what we do know is that these war table deep dive streams are essentially what is i guess their new style and their new format so with this I genuinely do prefer these rather than just a long live stream and if they can do this for all the DLC characters or the roster in general right as a whole going literally in the same format then it's safe to say that not only would it reveal a lot more but it just feels a lot more engaging as well and again don't forget it's all pre-done like the War Table stream before prior to that, but of course, you, you know what I mean. So it just gets a lot of people excited. It shows the new locations as well that we can be visiting and... I mean, it's safe to say it's shaping up. Now, I do know there's a handful of people that still aren't happy with this stuff. And like I said, in yesterday's video, or in just in general, I've always said that Kate Bishop isn't really my go-to character. I couldn't really care for her as a DLC character. But after seeing this, one thing that I'm just genuinely excited for is the fact that we're getting new content. And I think that is crucial considering we've just been dead silent, more or less. Well, with the devs have been dead silent with us for, right, for all of this stuff but seeing just the gameplay i guess physics when it comes down to these characters is what really makes things fun right so as long as they well i guess when they release kate bishop as long as it's a bit of a smooth run and we're not gonna get these crazy crazy i guess you know glitches and what be it then it's just i guess a little taster of what hawkeye is going to be but like i said really being honest hawkeye's story is where it all really stands but we're going to be breaking this down a lot more as well over the last or uh, well, over the next 24 hours hopefully so we've got a ton of stuff to really dig out from this because i really do feel like there's more teasers here than we kind of expect but again that will be for the next video but leave all your thoughts on this in the comments below and that's going to wrap this one up so i'll see you guys in the next one till then have yourselves a ridiculously amazing day rate of this out of 10 i guess you could say and let me know what you expect for the future of this game is this now shaping up for you is it not don't forget to check out the giveaways as well the link to those are in the description below and again content is content so let's just see how they roll this out but one character that i'm really really excited for is hawkeye and definitely black panther but seeing our first official look even though it is a helmet it just kind of gets you excited right nonetheless so guys i'll see you in the next one till then leave your theories below have an awesome day, and until the next one, adios amigos.